Report of a fire. Engine 9. Medic 8. I'm Wynne Spann, EMS instructor with the Columbus Division of Fire. Today's skill is oxygen administration by non-rebreather mask. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide supplemental oxygen administration by non-rebreather mask to an adult patient. This patient has no other associated injuries. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You will be required to assemble an oxygen tank and a regulator. You will then be required to administer oxygen to an adult patient using a non-rebreather mask. I will serve as your trained assistant and will be interacting with you throughout this skill. I will correctly carry out your orders upon your direction. Do you have any questions? No. At this time, please take two minutes to check over your equipment and let me know when you're prepared. I have a non-rebreather mask with a reservoir. I have examination gloves in my size. I have an O2 cylinder with a regulator. I'm going to assemble it just to make sure it is in working order. It has over 500 PSI. A 30-year-old male is short of breath. His lips are cyanotic and he's confused. You have five minutes to administer oxygen via non-rebreather mask. First, I'm going to don my body substance isolation gloves, my goggles if I prefer, which I do not. I will then gather my equipment and prepare it. And assemble the regulator with O-ring to the tank or bottle. I will then crack it. To clear any debris, I'll also ensure there is a minimum of 500 PSI in the bottle, which there is. I'll also look over the tank to ensure there are no leaks, which there were not. It is now time to attach the non-rebreather tubing to the regulator. I will ensure the tank is turned on completely, and it is, and I'll adjust it to a flow of 15 liters per minute. And I'll place my finger over the check valve to inflate the reservoir bag. Now I will apply the mask to my patient, ensuring a proper fit by adjusting the head straps and nose piece. Thank you. This concludes the skill. Let's review the critical criteria for this skill. If any of the following critical criteria are performed, the skill is considered unsatisfactory. Failure to take or verbalize proper body substance isolation precautions. Failure to assemble the oxygen tank and regulator without leaks. Failure to pre-fill the reservoir bag. Failure to adjust the oxygen flow rate to the non-rebreather mask to at least 10 liters per minute. Failure to assure a tight mask seal to the patient's face. 
failure to manage the patient as a competent EMT, exhibits unacceptable effect with the patient or other personnel, or it is a dangerous or inappropriate intervention. Let's review this skill evaluation again in real time. I will be serving as your trained assistant and I will carry out your orders upon your direction. Please take two minutes at this time to review your equipment. I have an auto breather mask with reservoir. I have a O2 tank bottle with a regulator. I will assemble that and then disassemble it by ensuring I have an O-ring, which I do. I will also crack it to make sure it is in working order. And it is. I am prepared. You are dispatched to the home of a 30-year-old patient who is cyanotic and confused, complaining of difficulty breathing. You are required to do the isolated skill of applying a non-rebreather mask. crack it to clear any debris, also checking for any leaks in the tank, which there are none. Also there is over 500 psi in my bottle. Turn my bottle on to 15 liters per minute. Inflating my reservoir bag. Sir, I'm going to give you a little oxygen. This will help you, okay? Piece and the straps to ensure proper seal. Thank you. This skill is complete. And thank you for viewing another episode of our EMT Basic Skills series.